And hi everyone, it's Foxy. I hope you're doing great. So now let's be back for a brand new video how to get a free VPS for cores, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 40 gigabyte disk, and how to install Pterodactyl on it to make a panel. So we are going to start by launching a browser. So I have Chrome. I have Chrome, so please brave for this one. Uh, and we are going to use run code. They recently put back their um, VPSs so you can use them. So, uh, yeah, guys, it's always not clear here, uh, right there. So, you have to click on new workspace right there. You're gonna have to click on new workspace as shown, and after you're gonna have to click on Jupyter Lab. So, after uh, you'll be able to launch a Jupyter Lab server. There you go. Then we are going to launch a new Jupyter Lab and choose the free medium plan that is offered to us. So what it's going to do is it's going to create a workspace. Alright, so if you get this, what you're going to have to do is refresh your page and you're going to be directly redirected to uh, Jupyter Lab. And here is where we're going to start working. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to github.com and we're going to type Pterodactyl installer that one link will be down below of course I'm just gonna copy this um, there you go we have already sudo to access that's great we'll be able just to paste this and at the same time we'll go to ngrock so we can uh, create um, a access Uh, for the panel name, what we're going to do is I'm going to open a new terminal. We are going to get Linux, download x86-64, uh, uh, and we're going to say this again, and we're going to wget uh, this. We're going to after tax f. Uh, ng rock, there you go, you got a dot slash, uh, copy this, paste it there, and after you just gonna create a edge thing, start tunnel, there you go, dot slash, and boom, alright. So your IP, I mean your domain name, will be uh, this, uh, you're gonna put Yes, no, no, and you're gonna launch the installation. And there you go. From now on, all you're gonna have to do is wait for it to be installed. If you want, you can check the website. As you can see, there's already an internal server error. That is good, that means that the installation is starting. And uh, all you're gonna have to do is check all of these. So I'm gonna speed run. I mean, I'm gonna fast forward this installation. Okay, and there you go. As you can see, uh, everything is installed. Just gonna wait for it to be totally configured. But I think that if we can refresh this page, as you can see, Pterodactyl works. I'm going to use FoxFox Fox just to connect. Alright, can I make a capture or not? Okay. And as you can see, we are in. There you go. All that is working. You can uh, create nodes and do whatever you want with it. And so, yeah, there you go, fellas. That's how you install a Pterodactyl server directly on your run code.io VPS. Uh, if you liked the video, consider giving it a big thumbs up and we'll see ourselves for the next video. Ciao bye.